In 2019, the Rainforest Writing Retreat Group uh, put out a call to assemble an anthology on the theme, Short Stories of Forest and Fantasy. Uh, I hadn't deliberately written fantasy uh, or speculative fiction before that time, so it was a pleasure to explore these new themes. And in addition to uh, coming up with a poem that was included in the anthology, uh, I was able to continue on and to write more, starting off with uh, that forest and fantasy idea, but then expanding further and um, eventually going into meteorology, going into outer space and uh, and all sorts of uh, explorations, which is just delightful. And I've assembled that collection of poems that emerged from the forest and fantasy theme into a book that I've called The Garden Black. Uh, it's not released at this point, but I thought that I might share with this year's retreat a couple of poems from that collection that, that came from uh, the RWR Group's um, original call for submissions. I hope you enjoy them. Our Sky I and the clouds stand shoulder next to shoulder. I am the eagle. The cloud is the wind to fly. If I leap, my arms spread wide as I can, the cloud will glide underneath my body. Hold me up in the air. Two of us as one. Ours alone is the widening sky. Ours alone is the wide, wide, wide blue sky. The clack and the ah. My breath makes a clack when it goes in. Every exhale is a sigh. Lying with my eyes closed, I am a world of clack and ah. I do not really breathe. I am given air. I am inspired to focus. I can feel my chest inflate. To focus. I know the rise of ribs. I know the fall. Infinity rolls into the space that is a pause between... And a clack... That is my new air. Every sound is heightened into the only sense still to remain, but I don't hear nothing at all, only clack. And ah, 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 ah. Clack. The hunter writes a letter. He writes as a hunter writes, a letter to the spore of his prey. I see where you have been, what you have done. I see where I will catch you. She reads like a sprite of the forest. Her tinkling laughter fills the air, just as a stream she runs. I am everywhere, you will never find me. I am everywhere. He studies the disturbances. Leaf litter, scratchings across the path. With every sign he draws a little nearer. She watches from the epiphytes, splashes in bromeliads, dances on the barely paths, keeps the game alive. He holds an image of her in the trophy cabinet of his mind. And so the hunt, the dream, progresses. Written to the prey, laughed like the sun leaping off water. 